The Muni Muni Sutta From intimacy peril has arisen from a board there arises dust without an board without intimacy this truly is the muni's vision one who having cut off what has arisen would not foster what is arising or nurture it they call him a muni living alone that great rishi saw the state of peace having comprehended the grounds having crushed the seed he would not nurture it with moisture truly that muni a seer of the final end of birth having abandoned though cannot be designated having known all residences not desiring any of them he who is truly a muni devoid of greed greedless does not endeavor for he has gone beyond one who has overcome all all knowing very wise untainted among all things who has cast off all liberated in the destruction of craving he is one the wise know as a muni one with the power of wisdom equipped with good behavior and observances concentrated delighting in jhana mindful freed from ties not barren without influxes he too is one the wise know as a muni muni living alone a muni heedful not swayed by blame and praise like a lion not alarmed among sounds like the wind not caught in a net like a lotus not tainted by water a leader of others not by others led he too is one the wise know as a muni one who remains steadfast like a pillar at a ford when others speak provocative words about some matter who is devoid of lust with well concentrated faculties he too is one the wise know as a muni one who is inwardly firm straight as a shuttle disgusted with actions that are evil who investigates the uneven and the even he too is the wise know as a muni one self control does nothing evil when young and middle aged the muni is restrained irreproachable he does not scold anyone he too is one the wise know as a muni whether from the top the middle or the remainder whatever the food and arms collector may receive he does not think to praise it or disparage it he too is one the wise know as a muni the muni who lives abstinent from sexual union who even in youth is not beyond anywhere abstinent from vanity and heedlessness fully released he too is the one wise know as a muni having known the world a seer of the supreme goal an impartial one who has crossed the flood and ocean those knots are cut and attached without influxes he too is one wise know as a muni the two are dissimilar they are dwelling and conduct far apart the layman supporting a wife and the ascetic owning nothing the layman is unrestrained in harming other beings while the muni ever restrained protect living beings just as blue naked peacock flying in the sky never reproaches the speed of a goose so the layman is no match for the bhikkhu a muni meditating secluded in the woods